there will be at least a couple Saints rookies thrown into the fire early. Some based on talent, some due to need. For others, there's going to be time to learn the ropes. Doug Mouton has more on a big man whose short memory might be his greatest asset as he's adjusting to the speed of the NFL. The best way to describe Andres Pete right now is he's a work in progress. And the Saints first round draft pick knows he's got a long way to go. I think Coach Payton said it the other day, uh, you know, move on to the next play. And uh, that's kind of the mentality that I have to have. If I get beat or if I have a bad rep, I can't, you know, think about that and dwell on that. I got to, you know, just move on. For the Saints' highly drafted rookies, Andres Pete is in a unique position. Stefan Anthony, the other first-round draft pick, the inside linebacker, and Heoli Kakaha, the outside linebacker, second-round pick, are both being counted on to contribute in a big way right now. Andres Pete will be given time to develop. When he was here in the spring, as you've all written about, uh, he didn't show up in very good shape, and so it was a struggle for him because he missed so many days as well. But He's come in, he's a lot better shape, he's moving around. I think he feels more comfortable. The Saints can wait on Pete because they have a quality veteran right tackle in Zach Streif and a budding superstar at left tackle in Teron Armstead. And already Streif has taken Pete under his wing. Yeah, I think it's helped a lot. Um, you know, every time I'm going and taking a rep, he's, you know, watching my technique and kind of critiquing it. And uh, whatever he sees, he's telling me, uh, you know, if I do it wrong, how to do it the right way. And that's also in the film room, too. So he's been a big help to me so far. It's a close room. And, you know, Zach said it best, no different than Stinchcom was with Zach when he was a young player. Pete is off to a slow start, but the Saints are not disappointed in him. And he does give the team options. I think he's doing really good things at tackle. I still think he's versatile. He, he could play either side uh, if we needed it, and I still think he could play inside. Jumbo tight end. I think the guy is what we thought he was. Very good athlete, very large man, and uh, like, like any young guy, he's still going to, you know, we're going to give him time. And for a guy who admits he's still learning, having time to develop is a good thing. Reporting with the Saints in West Virginia, Doug Mouton, Eyewitness Sports. Thanks so much, Doug. Also today, the team told former Saints kicker Morton Anderson that he's going to be inducted into the Saints Ring of Honor this December. The man known as the Great Dane spent 13 seasons with the Black and Gold and will join Archie Manning, Ricky Jackson, and Willie Rofe as the only members of the team's Ring of Honor, which was established in 2013. Anderson reflected back on his time kicking in front of the Saints fans in the Dome, calling it a religious experience. I think for me, the experience on, on Sunday afternoon in the Dome was just... It's hard to, exp to explain unless you're there, but it, it is kind of like you're in, you're in church, you know? You're in church with 70,000 of, of, uh, you know, of your best friends and everybody's pulling in the same direction. And, and it was the hugest uh, home field advantage for us, and it still is. And a couple weeks ago, we introduced you to a group of athletes representing Louisiana in the Special Olympics World Games, which were held in Los Angeles. They seemed pretty confident that they'd bring home some hardware, and boy, did they. Returning to Louisiana this afternoon with six medals, four gold, one silver, and one bronze. Quite the feat, considering there were nearly 7,000 athletes from all over the world competing. Congratulations. I'm impressed. That's Six awesome. medals is a lot. Yes, they went out there, and you know what they did? They put their money where their mouth was. Exactly. Yes, uh, all I right. said that right. Okay. <laughs> Leslie, thank you, and we're back right after this. <laughs>